Welcome to QA Scripts. It's a one-stop solution for software automation testing tools online and classroom training needs. QA Scripts is a one-click reachable center for software quality assurance freelancing. QA Scripts is a pool of professionals with highest passion of sharing their expertise with people in need and provide quality software application to client with minimum budget. We also provide 100% hands-on experience training on open source tools such as Code Java, Selenium WebDriver, APM, and also commercial tools such as HP Lean FT, HP UFT or QTP, and SOAP UI. We provide services to clients as freelancer to have defect-free application by performing functional, web service, and automation testing using automation tools. For training or application testing needs, please contact us using email or call details provided below. Hi friends, welcome back to QA Scripts video series again. In previous video, we observed what is workbook, what is worksheet, and what are the different classes we can use to connect from program to Excel sheet. And also we learned how to download Apache POI jars and configure to project. In this video, we will see how to do coding and read the data from Excel sheet. To start with, I will create one class here in the project. I have already created that is read data from Excel. And uh, here, let me delete unwanted things. After creating a class called read excel sheet or read data from excel before i start coding i want to create one excel with the uh, rows and columns of data i have created uh, one excel sheet called test.xlsx and inside that i have uh, uh, created four columns sorry three columns and four rows here first column is name second column is age and third column is date and i have given the uh, all the values and the seat name is qa so let me save this as i was explaining uh, in the ppt we need to consider entire this file as a book so inside the book there will be number of pages like that inside of this particular uh, uh, book there will be number of Seats. So this is a workbook and these are the seats. Seats are nothing but pages in the book. So using those keywords, let me create one uh, uh, object. Before that, what I was telling, I want to connect from this Excel sheet to my program. So here is the program that is class. So this is the slide I was talking about. So each book is uh, each workbook is nothing but a kind of book and uh, each uh, sheet is kind of pages so now we'll uh, connect from program to book using a class called file input stream and we will give the path of the excel sheet i have created a object an object called fis using class called uh, file input stream here I have specified the path of my Excel sheet. The Excel sheet that is test is present inside the folder called trainings. But here I have a few errors. That is because you need to specify double backslash because Java accepts double backslash or single forward slash. So let me make this as double slash. After this here I am getting few more errors. If I move my cursor here, it's asking me to import file input stream. 
from package called Java IO. So I have clicked on that. Now uh, in the package is got imported and still I have error here. If I move my cursor here, uh, it's asking me to add throws declaration. That is, uh, you know, exception handling because if some time what happens, uh, the file might be moved to somewhere or file might be renamed because of some purpose at that time it will not get the file there, there won't be any file with the name called test at that time it will throw error that error can be captured and the exception uh, handling uh, keyword is file not found exception this is again a class so i have created object called fis as i was telling so after creating a, a object this is a object it will help us to connect from my eclipse to file then what i need to do i need to get hold of workbook so to do that i have a class called x s s f workbook let me use this class and create a object called workbook let me say x s s f and here is the workbook and this is coming from package called org.apache.py.xssf.user model. Remember, this class is going to work only with xlsx format. If you want to work with the xls itself, then there is another class called hssf workbook in the same Apache POI. Uh, jar files you have uh, two classes one is hssf workbook this is for uh, xls and if you want to work with uh, uh, xlsx you need to use xssf workbook so using this you can uh, create object so here i will say workbook and uh, i'll pass this object as a input for the class i have uh, created object but here it's asking me to Again, uh, add some exceptions. So let me move my cursor here and uh, add it so that uh, it will catch the exception if there are any errors. I have created workbook object. After uh, holding the control of uh, book, what is the next? We need to get hold of pages. That is seeds which are present inside that. To do that, I have one more class called XSSF seed. I have created object called seed by using xssf seed and it's asking me to import the package. So let me import package from uh, org.apache.py.user model. Again, if you are working with uh, xls itself, then you can make this as a hssf seed. Since I'm working with the uh, xls x format, so I'm using xssf seed. So here I am passing the seat name. What is the seat here I am using? This is a seat that is QA. So I am passing the name here. After getting hold of seat, what is the next step? I need to count how many rows are used. To do, to do that, there is a one method called get last row num. So this is the method that is get last row num. This method will return integer value based upon number of rows you have used for example in my excel sheet i have used four rows so it will return as three because it start from zero so since uh, this entire line is going to return integer value i will assign to a variable called row count of data type int now if you execute it will return as three. So I will use this row count and I will uh, form a for loop. So I have created a for loop saying int i equals to one because I don't want to read data from uh, first row. This is only for us. I want to read from second row. That is why I am saying i. But where I can specify from what row you have to read the data from. To do that, there is a one method called get seed so i'll say seed dot get seed so here is the one uh, 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 sorry get row 
so here is the one uh, method called get row so here you can specify from what row you would like to start reading the data here i will say i so that it will start reading the data from first uh, second row in the excel sheet i will assign this to one variable called get values and uh, the data type of that get value variable is row so again this is a actually class having a package called org.apache.py.user model so i have imported that so this will help me to get the column count because once we know that how many rows are there and once we know that from where this data is going to read then we assume that columns will be same for all the rows so here i will uh, say get sorry row values dot then there is a one method called get last row so here is the i'm sorry get last cell num so this will give us how many columns are there for example here three columns are there but it will return as two because it start from zeroth position using a, a row value dot get cell i am creating one more for loop so that i can uh, dynamically read the data irrespective of how many rows are there how many columns are there so i am not uh, going to hard code any value here to read i need to say row value dot there is a one method called get cell so here you need to specify from what cell you need to read so i will say g, uh, j so j value is 0 means it will uh, start reading like this i value is 1 that is it will hold like this and j value that is column is 0 so here is the 1 so 1 comma 0 means this value it will get read since it's a for loop j becomes 1 later so i will be as usual 1 1 comma 1 so it will get read the data from here when j becomes 2 i is 1 again i comma 2 means the value that is date will read so like this it will keep on iterating and it will read all the data but but here you need to specify what kind of cell you are reading for example each cell can be considered as a separate uh, format let me say here right click on this cell go to format cell here you can say the cell can be general it can be currency type it can be date type whatever let me say this as a currency so if i make this as a currency type of cell if i enter any data and if i place my cursor outside automatically it will convert as a currency so in the sense it will take it everything as currency that's why each cell can have its own format in order to come up with this format there is a another set of methods based upon those methods you can read for example what i will do now here i will say dot get string cell value in the sense this method will help me to read the data from a cell having string format but it will not read data from any other format so if you want to read a uh, uh, cell from different format you can follow the methods such as get uh, formula get boolean uh, get uh, cell comment so so it's up to you what uh, uh, cell format you are using based upon that you need to specify here but in general what i do i have made it every every cell as string how to make it make it as string it's a very simple here if you look at i am entering 2 5 that is integer but i am passing that as a string because i am passing single code in excel sheet if you pass anything with a single code that is going to consider as a string so i have made it 
every cell out of these uh, four uh, rows i have made them as a string so that here i can use dot get string cell value so entire line i will place in system dot out dot print ln and i will execute so i have used a print ln with one string called value from excel so let me execute this code so when i execute this code the data is displaying out here so first it's a qa script that is from first cell then it is displaying 25 that is from here and then it is uh, displaying 1 slash 1 slash 2015 then it will start reading from next row that is harshit 28 and date so like this you can read the data i hope this is uh, useful uh, information if you have any questions or uh, feedback please uh, let us know and if you want to be part of uh, online training you can always contact us using mail id that is info at qscripts.com or qscripts25 at the rate gmail.com or you can also call to uh, us using these numbers if you are calling from us please call to number 2147996262 if you are calling from India, please call to number displayed out here. That is 8095916908. In the next video, I will show how to use this method in Selenium as a real-time example. Thank you. Please keep in touch.